Hello everybody, I'm Lubin Fruit, and in this video we're going to check out the updated version of the Nindo event for Path of Gara. So basically for Path of Gara, you're going to need to complete this quest right here, which is every 24 Storm Circles survived, you will get one badge. So the idea is that you have to survive a Storm Circle, meaning that you have to survive this zone, like the blue zone, the blue storm. Once you survive 24, you will get one badge. For getting one badge, you will get the uh, Gara emoticon, which is this right here. I, I think it's called Focused Gara. I already got it. As you can see, it is like greened out for me. Uh, if, you, if you don't unlock something, it's going to be like this, like for example, it's going to be like a blacked out or silhouette, silhouetted out. So this is what it looks like when you unlock something. So for getting one badge, you will get the first reward. For getting five badges, you will get XP. For getting nine badges, you will oh, you will first get the attack the Akatsuki wrap, which is this wrap right here. And you will get one piece of the Manda Glider. So this is the Manda Glider right here. So let me show you another picture. There it is right there. As you can see, the wrap and the Manda Glider. Uh, like I said, you only unlock one piece of the Manda Glider. You need four pieces. And to get all four pieces, you need to complete all four paths. Of course, all the paths are on the channel. So if you're having trouble with any of them, just write Path of Gara or how to complete Path of Gara and you'll find it. Write how to complete Path of Hinata and you'll find it. Uh, so on and so forth. Uh, so yeah, the uh, the way that they made this easier is by including a bunch of more like uh, playlists or lobbies that you can do this in so that it is much easier. So as you can see right here, it says available playlists, Fortnite Battle Royale and Zero Build. So now it's it works in uh, Battle Royale and Zero Build. I think it didn't have Zero Build before. So Zero Build is much easier to survive Storm Circles in, especially if like, uh, because like in build mode, a lot of people are gonna like box up. They're gonna go to, like they're gonna go to, to end zone. They're gonna survive. It's gonna be really, really problematic. Zero Build, a lot of people die really, really, really fast. So uh, like it's gonna be much easier to survive Storm Circles if a lot of people die and you can just, you know, lurk and hide and go for the bushes. You can just use, uh, you can use um, um, uh, the rifts. You can use a lot of cool stuff like to hide. Uh, and this works in solos, duos, trios, and squads, as you can see. So you can choose any of these modes that you are best at. And you can just, you know, uh, play the game and just survive. Uh, the best way to do it, in my opinion, is to, uh, like, uh, start the game, uh, wait in the battle bus. Don't don't jump in yet. Wait until the last bit of the battle bus and then just jump off. And then just float, like, the, uh, like instantly pop your glider, keep floating. Look for the first storm circle where it is. Just go to that. And then just, you know, pick the be the most favorite place for you. Maybe a place where there's a lot of bushes. Maybe a place where you can rift out of. Maybe a place where there's a car that you can use. So you have to be kind of smart with this. So just, you know, play like a rat, <laughs> basically. And just need to survive as many to storm focus as you, as you can. Or, of course, if you're um, if you're a sweat and you're really good at the game and you can just pop off and kill people and everything, you can just, you know, go around and play aggressively and just don't get mad if somebody, like, third party is you or something like that so that's the only problem that's why playing like a rat is much better to complete this like ridiculously um like grindy uh quest so yeah like i said like the path of gara is this is these other words that you can unlock uh do not be mistaken do not think that you can unlock gara himself the event is about these rewards right here as, as you can see so it's the emoticons the four emoticons as you can see the xp that comes with them the final uh, Manda uh, Glider, which is absolutely free, and the Akatsuki Wrap. You do not get to unlock the characters themselves, but you unlock these kind of like cosmetics, just so you know. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Thank you guys so much for watching, Now, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!